Alright, I mean, uh, so wh what are we doing? What are we doing? We got that 9 o'clock heat. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. A.K. Patters. I, I should be discussing comics. And, and today we're doing back-to-back -back opinion videos. I want to... We got to get back to doing comics on this channel. But Tom McFarlane, McFarlane Tories, dropped a response to the social media pounding of this Joker box set that looks like D-I-C-K-S-H-I-T. Looks like those two things, if you if you cobbled it together and shoved it up your candy butthole, it would be this box set that is now $250. The response from McFarlane, which has been up this entire time, is this. This license costs a lot of money. This license has a different like marketing point, a different position because it's considered 18 and older. So we have to do it a particular way because it's 18 and older. But to compensate the cost, we've included accessories like a plant, a mug, a notebook, a chair. What? This doesn't shed any light on where this price point came from. Anyone that, that you don't even have to collect action figures. You, you just got to look at them. Anyone that's looked at an action figure can easily discern this is a reaping of the butthole of the collector. It's Tom McFarlane trying to trigger FOMO for whatever reason. I'm sure by this point in the in the production procurement process they were hoping that joker 2 hit the lexicon and this would be an easy 250 dollar sale for the absolute diehards and collectors of 18 plus action figures here's the wild thing this announcement it's not like you have to make the freaking product if the product if the numbers don't work out you don't have to make the product that's where I'm confused. Why do we think you have to make the product, McFarlane and Tories? Tom McFarlane uh, is just a desperate pitch guy for his own company. It's so sad because he can't even address this. That's the sad thing. And Tom McFarlane, he, he does like, you know, he does a lot of podcasts, does a lot of interviews, does a lot of this. These guys that interview Tom McFarlane never get into the real questions with him because I'm sure they're not allowed to. Keep in mind, AKA Patterns, because a lot, a lot of you out there, you guys asked me to do something so I can interview and talk to people. No one on God's green earth, the eagle's green earth, would want to sit down and talk to me. I'm, I'm even talking about people that are technically on my side because for my integrity being able to look myself into the mirror I will come at you with the hardest questions imaginable I will go through your life go through your career and I will develop real questions could you imagine if I spoke with Todd McFarlane the guy would never recover and because of that the aka pad army gets stronger because we're here for that voice. We're here for that pushback. We're not cheerleaders. I even, it's hard for me to even want to go on other people's live streams because I don't want to cheerlead. Mm. Anyway, guys, I love you, rock and roll. What do you think? Are we done with this $250 Joker box set nonsense? Mm.